All right, welcome in everybody. We're gonna be playing more of War of the North. Gonna try and get through more of this. I think or so we're pretty close to the end, kind of. There's not like a ton more to go, but we'll see how much more we can get done tonight. Ronick, what's up, Ronick? Finally, you were able to keep up to the stream, and this is a vibe. Are you talking about the songs in the beginning of the stream? Nice to see you, Ronick. How you been? How was your Thanksgiving, man? So good to see you. Good friend Ronick's here, guys. This is uh, this is excellent. We are gonna play some of this tonight and hang out. We've been enjoying Ocarina of Time, Ronick. Really, really enjoying that game. Still have a long way to go in that, I think. All right, so from here we have to go. Well, I think we actually have to go out this way. Not sure if it's gonna. Oh wait, where does it want me to travel from? Not even sure. I'm pretty good too. Busy, busy, but good. You know. There we go. Uh, so we have to go to the Urgos Lair, the Dragon's Lair. We are certainly getting close. So we have. There might be like two chapters left or something. Let's see. Very close. Have some coffee here. Have something warm to drink again tonight. It's actually like really chilly by me. I mean, it is December now, right? Can't, we're in December, guys. Can I can't even believe this. We're gonna be celebrating a new year in a month. How? <laughs> How is that possible? How did 2021 was like the fastest year? I think ever. I mean, it had to have been. Do you think the dragon would be on the lookout for us? I hope it is not so. But the keen senses of dragons are legendary. I fear he will see, hear, or smell us long before we can come to grips with him. Still, if Agandar's minions are hereabouts, it may be that their presence will mask our own. Agandar's. No point in delaying any longer. Let's get going. Alright. The Grey Mountains. We have this new hammer. It's a nice area too. Man, this this game, I'm gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna miss vibing with this game when we beat it because it's so Those good. Some dragons are less formidable than legend makes them. Alright, this area is gonna be difficult. It is like Viking guys. Whoa! <laughs> Yep. Let me get rid of this guy. There we go. Get more health potions. Pretty powered up now. Lock his swords and go in. Nice. Perhaps these are some remnant of the men who served the Witch King long ago. Uh, the Witch King. Let me finish healing up. You finished all of them that you have up. So I just put a. Um, I put one up today too. I think it should be up there anyways. I do have another part that needs to be uploaded because we played some uh, last night, actually. 
And we'll be playing Ocarina Time again within the next couple nights for sure. Because we're gonna, go, I think we gotta go to the Water Temple next or something. So, be really hard. That's what I heard. We're also playing uh, Mario Odyssey now, finally. Pick that up on Black Friday sale. Online. Oh my gosh. See, the guys with the swords, when they come at you, two or three of them, like, you better be blocking, because otherwise they'll kill you in no time. Stay in here. These sorcerers are causing big problems. Yeah, Odyssey, we've done two parts of that. Part one should be up now on YouTube. Yeah, man, loving that game so far, too. Really good. Taking my time with that game as well. And we'll start up, probably start up a couple other games this month, too. Trying to beat this one so we can finish this series soon. And we're probably about halfway done with uh, Ocarina Time. Get him! Ooh. working out pretty well. Shoot, all right, what we're gonna need to do. No, I wanted him to get the big guy. And he's down. These guys are a big problem. So is my controller. <laughs> Every time I play now, it just does this at least once. If I move like the battery pack at all, like it just big comes loose. You face the power of the That experience. Look at that hit streak. Oh, that was awesome. Oh wow. Shoot, it's best to proceed with my team here. Let's come back and help them. Oh wait, she set this up. that war cry
Man, there's so many enemies around here. Be a vein of gold. I must have aid. Here, the glint of gold. Glint of gold. Ah, vein of gold. No sense leaving it with the arcs to find. Oh well, this guy, this treasure ain't yours. Like full inventory, we're gonna have to sell a lot of things when we get to a shop. Chill here for a second, and we'll uh, <laughs> we'll heal. up here there we go uh, we can't pick up any more treasure anyways we can do some armor sorts of new armor. Let's see if anything's better. Oh, this one's 218. Holy crap. Ooh, that weapon's even better. Oh, this one's... This hammer's great. Oh, I did get some good new items here. Kind of like the hammer I was using, but... Hitting him. Oh man, I hate the sword guys. They just like just slice up everything. They kill you so quickly. They can drain your health in one swoop combo. Defend me here, please. Shoot. Do that. Gonna go down. Oh, that was close. Look at these guys' armor. Let's go after them. You're dead. You're next. Nice. Okay. You're shooting me. There's a, oh, there's a guy up there. Actually, I do need healing. Let me get... It's gone. All right. Well, if they can keep them occupied, I can probably take out this punk. Q. 
keep moving side to side so he doesn't hit us. Oh my gosh, just die. There we go, gosh. So like all my arrows on him. Got him. Dwarf is upon you. again just game seems hard I mean it can get hard yeah the uh, the combat's awesome though you gotta know what you're doing obviously to, to stay up because if you the enemies can kill you pretty quickly if you're not alert to what's going on and how many enemies there are Got to use your teammates to your advantage, too. And all your power moves. But it's not like Dark Souls or anything like that. <laughs> you know, it's got a nice challenge to it. Let's see if there's anything over here. Anything? Nope. Such an epic game, though. Oh, there's all sorts of guys over there. Shoot, no! He's ready to kill this guy. Oh no. Your birthday is December 13th. Really? It's coming up. Yeah, I know this year is just like. went by so quickly. Any plans for your birthday? I like barely celebrate my birthday anymore. <laughs> Ooh, that roll was clutch because they would have got me down with that last attack. Got him. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. Defend me here. Let's go. Get some healing. Get away from the arrows. Shoot. Might just chill. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Like, I usually probably end up streaming, maybe. I don't even know. <laughs> probably work, right? <laughs> I'll probably have to work. In the I usually work on my birthday. But we got all three of them at once. Attack, attack. Heavy hits. Right, let's go up 
here. And some of these enemies take so long to kill. There. Right. Was that a shop? I believe that's a shop right there. That's good. There we go. Get everything uh, upgraded there. Build it. <laughs> Down he goes. Go to the shop. First off, we're gonna sell. A bunch of things here. So we can get rid of like a lot of crap that we don't want. Some of these weapons are actually better than what we're using, still. All these, uh... Oh, I forgot that these stones, you can use... They're usable and slottable, so we can. I think we can put those into weapons. Hang on, let me see. We have this too. Let's sell that. Hang on. Forgot about that. So, like, this is like. Plus 35 armor. You could put that on. You know, certain pieces of armor here. So like that. For completely forgot about this thing. Like deep wound damage, we can put that on. Like that. Strength. Put that on. Well, on the necklace that we're wearing. Health regime, or regen. Let's put that on. I really can't put it on anything but this and that. Right. Man, I can't believe it took me this long to remember about these. sell some other ones that we're not going to use. Usable. Let's get rid of that. Buy all this stuff. Do you have like better boots? No. So this weapon, we're going to equip now. This might be really good. for this weapon because you can see the green showing up there now I don't remember what does it do 
Well. Deep wound damage, I think it's doing. That's what it's doing. The, the green is the deep wound damage that it's doing to the enemy. That's really good. Oh, don't punch me. This weapon's kind of slow, but it's strong. Got a heal. Wow, that was close. him me swing and a miss buddy huh. over here all right he's dead Archers out there. Oh, missed him. <laughs> now he's dead. Yeah, we do a bunch of damage now. The deep wound, and plus, this is a stronger weapon in general, I think, than what we had. Been using. Anything in there? Just more coins. I wish the shops had more health potions for sale. They usually only have like three or four at a time. We just completely stock up on that. Ah, sword guys are here. There's archers everywhere too. Cut his head off, nice. Finish. I got him too. Is he dead now? Yeah. Just in time to heal. <laughs> Let's 
get that. Mm, stamina. It's gonna bring up my health three this time. Wait, did we already? I wonder how we get some of these other ones. Requires a sword. Hmm. Trying to see what I want. Oh. Temporary combat health regeneration. I'm gonna get that. Yo, what up, Darth? Hey, Boogie. How you guys doing? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, getting sliced up here in a block. Let me get him. Come on, come on. All right, come up there. Good, that's good. You, uh, you're chilling still. I had to start another stream tonight early because, uh, yeah, I gotta get up early. So hopefully we'll see how far we can get. Doing great. Stopped earlier at work. What do you mean, stopped earlier at work? Did doing great stop? Because you were at work, or? <laughs> or did you stop into my State of K2 stream, you mean, earlier, while you were at work? I streamed that for a little bit today. Good. Oh, you stopped earlier at work. Okay, now I know what you're saying. Wow, I'm stupid. All right. <laughs> you went home two hours earlier. Well, that's a good thing, right? Oh, it depends why you went home early, but... Wow, he almost knocked me right off there. Ooh. Well, that killed him. Where did Aerodon go? Working at night during winter times is exhausting. What is working at nights in general is exhausting. All night shifts. Yeah, chance to get home a little bit earlier, get a little more rest, a little more relaxation, a little more boogie time. I did everything I could today with my my day off, you know. I freaking, you know, this is my second stream. I wanted to stream more and get more stuff recorded. Uploaded a few YouTube videos, did some graphic designing, worked on some music even today. So I kept myself busy throughout the day doing stuff I want to do. As opposed to 
Going into work tomorrow. Here they come. I don't know how much is left. I think we're kind of near the end of the game. If I remember correctly. So we might be able to like... I don't even know if we could finish this tonight. I don't know. Depends on how long I guess it takes. Get him, get him, get him. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. There we go. Give me some health regen. There goes the controller again. A lot of power potions, so I'm just gonna keep juicing up and using my power moves. Dip in here. We have six great feathers too, if we want to use any of them. Good. This wizard over here needs to die. I need to get to a game shop soon sometime. I don't know when, but so I can get a hopefully a PlayStation 2 controller again. <laughs> so I want to do a lot of stuff on PS2 and Steven some of my PS1 games I have. Kind of annoyed that I haven't been able to, to play those. And down he goes. We're coming in. For a gray mountain, it's very gray. And down he goes into the... Uh, it looks like hot springs or something. This will strike you down. Yeah, GDP is uh oh yeah he yeah he is. He streams everything. He streams retro all the way up to newer stuff too. Definitely check out his streams, he's awesome. He's still in here. Yeah, and a lot of times, uh, he goes live, like, after I'm done, pretty much, because, uh, he streams even later than I do. You know, sometimes I see him on there when I'm, like, done with my streams, I'm like, that's when I go watch. I'm not sleeping. Um, yeah, he's been, he's been streaming for years. He's, he's a veteran compared to me. <laughs> But he's got awesome game room too, and awesome artwork and everything. Definitely, definitely check it out, Boogie. He's he's real chill too, like me, you know, chill chill guy. Not cray cray like <laughs> going wild with everything, like some like street. I know there's like. <laughs> some YouTube videos and streamers where they just like go crazy over everything. It's like why?
Yeah, there you go. I'll be alive tonight. I love the community of people we've built on Twitch and YouTube. You know, some of you are YouTubers or streamers on Twitch yourselves. Um, and supporting each other is awesome. Sorry if we're getting freeze frames here, guys. Again, my internet is being dumb today. I don't know why. Never know why, but... I said, if worse comes to worse, I can just restart the stream. Am I going the right way here? A dwarf is upon you. There's nobody here, though. A vein of gold. actually wrote a brand new song today <laughs> it's not um I mean the track was kind of already started on my laptop but I didn't like complete it or anything I didn't have any lyrics but I wrote all the lyrics came up with a vocal arrangement <laughs> and finished laying out the track today uh, it's very inspired by a band called Keen does anybody know who Keen are I love Keen it's a very Keen inspired song Something I don't really try to replicate that often is, you know, their type of music, but I, even though I love it. It takes requests and stuff, and you just, you know, play in. I don't know, what games are you currently working through right now, GDP, that you're, like, personally trying to, to beat? Like, Metroid Dread, I know, right? It's one of them. See, the next thing for my... Next thing I need to do is obviously get a PS2 controller at some point, and then... Get a um, get equipment so I can stream my, my Genesis too. Now that we have an N64 like I wanted, we've done slowly continuing to add to the library that we can stream and, and upgrading things and doing things better. Let me get the, uh, the equipment for Genesis. Oh, is this a shop? I believe this is a shop. Okay, let's uh... Can I give? So I can't really give any of these. Finally, better boots. Been a while. Okay. Now we're gonna sell a lot of stuff. I'm gonna keep one sword just in case. Red Blaster Master Zero Three. You like the Blaster Master games? I've seen you playing one of those before too. Mark McKenzie played versus Bruges in the cup match today with Gank. He lost after extra time with penalties. Oh really? Oh, they got knocked out of the uh, the cup over there. Dude, that sucks. Against Bruges. Uh, 
Uh, Mackenzie. Mackenzie uh, played a few games for the U.S. recently, too. I'd like to see him get back in there. The U.S. are playing really well as a, as a team. If, and then the Union have been <laughs> blowing my mind in the playoffs right now. They're going through to the semifinals that I'll be able to watch on Sunday. And the game's in Philly, and I'm just like, I'm going to have goosebumps, man. Because if they win, they go to the Cup. They've, they've never even been this far before. Like, and the way they've been winning their playoff games has been, like, the most dramatic thing, like, ever. I, I'm just like... Can't believe... Wow, well, those arrows. There we go. Yeah, Blaster Master does look fun, too. I haven't played one of those before. So I would love to play more, like, really retro stuff. Like, the most retro stuff I can do, I guess you could say, is... PS1? Dream oh, no, Dreamcast, I guess. Dreamcast N64. It's probably the most retro stuff I do right now. I want to go back to, you know, to Genesis, Super Nintendo, NES at some point. Again, I need the equipment. I still need some of those old systems. And I would need to get more games. I mean, I have some games, but... Uh, it's just, you know, the fact that I want to directly capture everything is going to make it kind of difficult, because some of them, those so systems need, like, separate components to, uh... to make it so you can stream them. Like, uh, there's one I'm looking at that is a Genesis one. That's, like, specifically for Genesis. So I know that'll be good. Yeah, the MLS has um, has playoffs. Yeah, so it's the top eight, basically, that go in or top. I forget what it is now. They change it like every year, and that's like a knockout system. So it's one game, you move on or you lose and go home. So um, yeah, the Union made the playoffs as the second seed in the East. And um, if you're the if you have the better record of the two teams playing, you get to host the game. So there's a chance. There's a there's a slight chance. There's four teams left now, two in the west, two in the east. There's a chance that if the Union win this game, and uh, and uh, Salt Lake win their game in the west, the Union would host MLS Cup in Philly, and that'd be insane because they would have home field throughout because they played all their games at home so far because they finished second in the East, and the top team in the East lost already, uh, New England. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, soundtracks on vinyl, the game soundtrack, they're awesome. The artwork on those are cool too. Those are going to be expensive too. Alright, here we go, a little, little mini boss here. Another one of these dudes. Keep shooting them. Go Union, go. Oh, I know, man. I might, if they make the cup, I might, like, do, like, a reaction video, like, of me watching the game <laughs> and just, like, post the highlights on YouTube or something. Like, uh, assuming that I won't be working during the game. I mean, I'm lucky I'm not working during their semifinal game, so I'll be able to sit back on Sunday and watch the game. I missed their first two playoff games because I was at work. I had to watch the highlights and follow along at work. And they were like the craziest endings. I actually saw their first playoff game, the end of that one, at work. I was on, I was just leaving and stayed in the break room to watch it. But man, uh, it's, it's insane, like, I, I might cry if they win the cup, honestly. <laughs> I'll be so happy. Alright, let's, let's see. I'm not used to my Philadelphia teams winning, really. They don't, they don't win a lot of championships. Oh, this, look at this, look at this guy.
Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he's dead. He did. Oh, I, yeah, I remember this dumb part. There's so many archers and stuff here. It just makes it, like, really hard. So we gotta take out these grunts. Remember, in here, healing. There we go. Alright, there we go. Well, and Ghent won the championship for the first time in history. Dude, that mean I would I mean, it's your team and they win for the first time, I would definitely I would definitely cry. That's why I'll cry if the Union win. They've never even been this far. But Union haven't been a club for like ever, you know, but they I've watched Tons and tons of their games since they first came into the league and just been following them. And really just live and die by how they do. We had an 18 year old take a penalty kick in the shootout in our last playoff game and he was so calm about it. He did like a little stutter move and then slotted it in like he was a wily veteran. I was like damn. There's the winning penalty kick, too. Shoot. Yeah, he told me he ordered this game, GDP, so I'm glad you picked this up. Uh, what were the other games you said you, you got and you had said uh, you picked up a few more stuff? Yeah, you're gonna love this game. It's, it's great. Do this. Give him a hit. Give him a hit. There we go. Oh, he's down. Let's get him up. There we go. Cold blooded. Yeah, it was certainly cold blooded. I mean, he was just like, yep. He like flexed after it too. I'm like, yeah. Our goalie made uh, two saves in the penalty shootout too. It was so, just so good. The Union's defense has been really good the past couple of years, and it's like winning them games, like their goaltending and their defense. Because our strikers are sucking right now; they can't score. But we're finding ways to to get through a defense. And just getting enough from the offense from the midfield and, and defense. Now I gotta get him up. Oh, what? Oh, there's no way I can get him up if he's gonna keep doing that. Let me get one of them up. Alright, good. They were both down. That was dangerous. Let me get him up. Wait, what else did you get? Dragon Age Inquisition? Oh, awesome. I just got that this year, too. I haven't played it yet. I got it for Xbox One. I haven't played a Dragon Age game before, so... Pretty pumped. You got this. Three... And oh, yeah, the Adventure Time games. That's right. <laughs> I haven't played any of those. I'm pumped for uh, Shredder's Revenge whenever that comes out. The Turtles game. I can't wait. I thought elves were meant to have long lives. Thank you, my friend. Oh, yeah. uh, let's use this, let's use that. Do war cry. I'm gonna do that to get some Does that damage him? I don't think Bellarom can damage these guys. Getting here. And we're getting good experience with this battle. Ah, he's tough to hit with your power moves because he moves around so much. Where do you go now?
No Dragon Age games? Yeah, I've never played one. I said I just bought Inquisition this year. Because it was like, what, $3 or 4 bucks at GameStop? I was like, alright, you know, why not? Always wanted to try one of those. Dragon Age Origins is one of your favorites on PS2. Okay. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to see if that one is in the wild somewhere. Yeah, I wanted to play some PS2 stuff this year, but again, my stupid controller. Or like, this this month, I should say. We did play PS2 stuff earlier in the year. Where is he? Where is he? There he goes. Dead. Get rid of him, too. There we go. Because PS2, for me, I think PS2 probably has the most games I haven't even tried yet of all my game libraries. Because, like, I've just found so many PS2 games for cheap in, like, thrift stores and stuff. And I just, you know, accumulate them. And I'm like, I'm going to play this, I'm going to play that. I mean, I've played a, a fair amount of them. And I've started other ones. I haven't finished them yet. We gotta get to some more of those. But, you know, it's good. I'm working through a lot of... Some 360 stuff recently. We're playing... Some N64 stuff, finally. You remember there was a romancing in Dragon Age 2. You could sleep with this ha huge... Half... Bowl half human warrior and start a gay romance. Let's do it. Half bowl, half human. <laughs> Very funny cinematics. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta think. Take on Urgos. <laughs> uh, just passing through. Let's say we mean to destroy you. Let's be really blunt about this. I am Farron of Erebor. My friends and I are here to put an end to you. Fight to the end. Maybe we can't reach you, but we'll fight you to our last breath. I believe you would. Hmm. I might have a use for such a reckless courage. See, he likes us because we're not backing down. Making a deal with a dragon, yeah, why not? Then take it. Oh, 
I can't remember if we actually do work with Urgost or not. If it's Karn Doom you want, feel free to take it from Agandalf. You'd even have our thanks for that. <laughs> I don't know if we can trust you. You are a dragon. I don't think so. Do you think we're fool enough to trust the word of a dragon? What do you fear? That I will betray you to your death? That would be easy enough to achieve right now. Accept my offer, and you may yet face Adam Dower. Choose swiftly. I don't tire of this debate. What if I say no chance? I don't even know. Do I have to fight him, maybe? I mean, I don't want Agandar to win. That's for sure. More like blackmail. <laughs> He's like, help me and I won't kill you. You know what? We're not accepting offers from anybody right now. You kind of have to accept the deal. You should listen to your friends, dwarf. They are wiser than you. All right. I can't believe what I'm about to say, but... All right, Dragon. You've got a deal. Stay out of this war, and Karn Doom will be yours. Karn Doom. So we are going back to Nordenbad. I think this is close to the end. I bet that really hard part's coming up soon. I mean, I guess we could go back to one of the towns if we wanted to, which I probably should. Bree. Sam, I can't remember where. We need to go fix our gear. We're gonna go back to Bray for a bit, just to, just to go see a smithy here. I can't remember if there's a smith. Oh, there's a smithy in Rivendell. I guess I could have gone there, but whatever. Fix my stuff. Back again. This is worth spending money on. It's 
fix all the stuff that we're basically using. And anything we might want to use. It's gonna be the part it really is all oh, this parts really hard you have to, like defend this main hall in Norden bad and it's like it's Norden awful because <laughs> there's like so many enemies coming at once and you're trying to right I mean your teammates this is like near the end of the game man I remember this being like pretty much near the end so we might be able to beat this tonight then. Epic fight here. Yep. Yep, Bruni's dead. part is so hard we're only level 19 this isn't too bad for a playthrough to be 19 here I think we have to like defend something against the door there and like they're so hard because they overrun you very fast. Alright. Uh, let's go see if we can get Good, more health potions. Nice, okay. Oh, shoot. Doing that to get some health back. I have so many power potions, so I'm gonna have to just keep so just keep pumping those in the blood. Keep doing this. So our powers refresh pretty quickly now. There we go. Ooh, okay. We're just beginning here. We are just beginning. Alright, let me get to one of these. There'll be a part where there's like kamikaze ones, I think, running down all the walls and everything. You can only defend like one side, though. Just 
just die. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, I know. Gonna knock over these towers now. There's one. Alright, hopefully they can keep these guys off my back. I'm gonna tell them to defend me here. Shoot, they're already here. Got it, got it, got it. Where? On the other side? Alright. Defend me here. So we can get rid of these big guys before they show up. Guys, will keep showing up if we don't get rid of these towers. All right, one's down. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, that was great. <laughs> More siege towers. All right, that one's going down. Come on, there we go. See, and your teammates won't go on the uh, won't go on the turrets either, so it makes it harder. You gotta do all that work yourself. Just gotta be quick about it. Oh, there's more on this side, both sides. Oh my gosh! All right, hang on. I can't even pause the game to level up. Okay, strength, stamina. We'll actually we'll just do more stamina right now. Still need... Okay. There we go, there we go. Get away. There's no way I can even... See, if you go down here, you're screwed. Because there's no way you can even get anybody up. <laughs> it's so epic, though. This is such a cool battle. I just wish I had like human players on my team here that could help shoot these towers down. This part is really well made. The siege towers are cool. Yeah, it's awesome. They could have almost made like a... Hang on. They could, they could have made like a multiplayer mode out of something like this. You know, like a, like a horde mode. I think there are... Is there multiplayer in this? I think it's just co-op. I'm like interested to see. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's just uh, like co-op online when there was, but it'd be cool if there was um kind of multiplayer mode where you could like both just like defend an area as long as you could with the three of you. Good thing about this game though is that it's couch co-op. Two players so you know yeah the online services are down but you know if you have a friend over you can still play this game all the way through with a friend. Split screen. They could be one of the other classes. Get these down. Goodbye. Now we have time. I'm gonna tell them to defend me again. I said I think we still have a long way to go here in this battle. Actually, let me uh, let me shoot them with this. Uh, 
Uh, there's going to be more coming. Oh, that's right. They destroy these. Uh, and then you got to guard the door. This is the hard part. Because you got all these... Oh my... If they get to the door... You might as well just give up because they take... They do so much damage to the doors. I'd rather them blow me up. In fact, I'll stand here and hope that they run into me rather than the door. Alright. Attack, attack, attack. I'm gonna get on the stairs here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right, hit me. They don't do a ton of damage to me, so... I will sacrifice myself! No! Shoot! <laughs> I was running into him. Come on! Where's my teammates? Oh my gosh. They're getting over here. Oh, I just got that one. This is crazy. What are the classes? Dwarf. Uh, it's Dwarf, Elf, and... Or Ranger, I should say. Let's see what they call it, exactly. Uh, yeah, Eridon, who's the Ranger. He's the Elf Ranger, like... So he has, he's more of a, you know, like a Legolas kind of guy. Then you have the Elven Lore Master, which is Andriel. She's like the, the, the mage, if you will. Magic. She also is very good at creating like a force field where you can heal in. And then on the dwarf, which is kind of more like, the dwarf's kind of like the warrior kind of class more so. Like the uh, close combat. I just love playing as a dwarf in this game for some reason, but they're all fun. Actual sappers, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Oh, shoot. See, I'm just... I'll, I'll let them blow me up. I don't care. Oh, see, they get to the door and do so much damage. Now they're coming from both sides. Doors like halfway down. What, where are they coming from? Oh my gosh. There's gonna be more now. Now trolls. Oh my gosh. Hello, Droot. How are you? Epic, though. Can't even check on our friend. We gotta fight these guys. And the gate still needs to be protected. So we're gonna defend attack right here. Oh my gosh, there's a troll getting up. You gotta try and get them away. Come on. No! Get over here. Once they get to the door, you're screwed. Shoot. Good. Yeah, that's right. Fight me, not the door. Alright, they can keep them busy. No, no. Shoot. I'm doing well too. That's good to hear that you're doing good. And that's how quickly they can get in. 
That's all it takes. This, this is the hardest part of the game, guys. It is so brutal. Because if the, the, either of these trolls get to the door, it's like you're... Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. They just run past you, too, which is really annoying. The trolls don't even... They're just interested in you. I mean, they're just interested in the gate. See, they don't even, like, go after you half the time. gonna lay into him with some power moves as much as I can. No. Shoot him in the ass. Keep him busy. Keep him busy. No. Oh my gosh. They're gonna get in again. What can I even do about that? Oh, man. This is where you really could use like a human controlled player to help you out. Because the, your teammates just won't defend with their lives on the door. Let's see what we can do if they defend here. Gotta lay into them. Gotta get as much damage done to them right here. Use my health potions. Right. Yeah, we got him busy here. Oh no, one's getting through and Andrea's falling. I don't even have time to get her up. Shoot. <laughs> uh. Can't even do that. Alright, defend here. Uh, come on, Aragon. Aragon, get her up. Get her up. If I go for her, they're going to get to the gate like really quickly. All right, defend here. Oh, no. Shoot. This is so hard. No. Ah, oh, he's down. Crap, they got it, they got it. Man, this is... Man, this is rough. The water temple is nothing compared to this. Oh, I'm sure. Like these orcs don't, these, I mean, these trolls don't die either. Like they just keep eating damage. And like, even when you're attacking them, they still try and run by and just get to the door as quickly as they can. Uh, I can't level up again, see? If I can level up again, I actually could have done this power up, the one that Warcry shifts enemy focus to the dwarf. Which will be big now. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. No, I'm gonna stand right in front of the freaking door. Come on! Oh, they're booked down? Crap. They're so... This is where AI lets you down. I mean, I'm gonna die here. Oh, this is like... I'm like... Stand in front of the freaking door. This is crazy. I can't even... Am I up? I can't even tell if I'm up. 
I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm like, I'm down. Oh my lord. Drew redeemed hydrate. Thank you, Drew. Bust open the um, orange Gatorade. Orange Gatorade for an orange shirt. Man, guys, this is this is tough. But we talked about this, I think, when we started playing the game, like uh, how hard this part is. It's as tough as I remember. It's like the first section of this area wasn't tough enough. Now you gotta deal with the trolls. And you gotta get through the part with the kamikaze sappers with as much door health as you can. We, I mean, this is pretty generous, the health that we have here. I remember trying to do this with way less uh, health on the door. So this is pretty good. Come on. Get up, get up! The problem is my teammates go down and then they don't... They, they're like so far behind where I want them to be. I'm telling them to come defend here. Come on, come on, defend here. Keep them busy, that's all I ask. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know what we need, but we need something. I'm trying to cut them off right here. Come on, come on after me. No. I'm gonna try like doing just regular attacks. And there's like other guys too, let alone like the trolls. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, if I go down at all, like, that just opens up the door for them to get in through the door. I'm gonna defend here. There we go, there we go. Alright. There we go, gotta keep using the powers. We can kill one of them. We might stand a chance here. I think one got through. We got one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, of course, the controller's gonna go out. <laughs> this only counts as one. <laughs> the green numbers are, um. So we have a. I'll show you. There's a, um. There's a gem that we put on our weapon that creates deep wound damage. So plus 20, it shows, at least. So for this weapon, like these little stones, these gems that you get here, you can equip them to certain items, like either armor or weapons, and they do like different things. Like you can see, here's like a deep wound damage one here. Actually, we should probably put that on. We'll swap that one out. So all the green numbers are what it's actually doing for us. Like the extra damage. Like the top number is like the regular damage and then there's like a plus 20 with that. So you know it helps. It adds up big time. 
It's not a ton by itself, but when you keep swinging and get plus 20 with your regular damage. I can't believe we did it, though. It's, and it's not over yet. It's like a bleed. Yeah, kind of like a bleed damage, I would, I would assume. Is what they're kind of going for with that. We have like a, another gem in one of our armor that gives us like a plus 5 strength for stronger attacks. This is not good. We're down. Clutch there. Right. We did the we did the hard part. The doors don't that part. Trying to get her up. There we go. <laughs> These sword guys. I swear the sword guys are like really are the worst. champion all right let me uh so we don't have to defend the door anymore so that part is like that stress is over i think the orc champion is like boosting all the other enemies too with like strength and armor maybe even reviving them He's almost dead. I'm gonna go see if there's any uh, potions or anything. Hey, where is the orc champion? They both are down? He's dead. He's dead. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, I'm gonna go down and we're gonna die. Oh, no. <laughs> if I go down, we lose. Epic, epic. Block him. There we go. One-on-one -on -one here. One-on-one, -on -one, I can win. Get him. Kill him. Oh, he's dead. Finish him. Okay, I'm gonna get one of them up. <sighs> Alright, they're good. Oh my gosh. Nice. See, when, you, when she casts that, you're standing there and it heals you. And also it blocks any enemy projectiles. So, And you can shoot out of here too. So it's great against archers. I don't, I don't think this is the end end. I think there's more after this. I want to say there is. Guys, that part's so hard. <laughs> I know, freaking Bellarom. He's not dead, though. I really wish this game had like a sequel or something. Like a new story after like the Lord of the Rings movies or something or during like maybe a later part of the movies.
Once again, we have Norton, Valor, and your dead. Without your aid, we would not have held them. The enemy is defeated, but at very great cost. Our friend Balaram is badly hurt. We've got to help him. I have already ordered my people to bear him into the hall. He will have the best care we can give, for it is certain we owe him our lives. But what of Urgost? You set out to deal with the dragon. Did you find him? Yes, but Agandar found him first. He promised the dragon Nordenbard. But we offered to give him Agandar's stronghold, the fortress of Khardum. Khardum? Khardum? The, the witch king of Angmar? Yes. We should have known Agandar would reoccupy that accursed place. If Orgos desires that black pit, he is welcome to it. All right, this is where we go to Cardoom. This is where I think the it ends. The loss of the eagles means you will need to go on foot. Well, so be it. Payment is long overdue. Agandour must die. I can spare no warriors to send with you. The strength of Norden Vaz. It's going to be us. And Belaram won't be able to help us from above either. Let's gear up as good as we can. So yeah, but we could probably try and finish this tonight then, guys. And might as well. I am going to miss this game, though. It's so good. Alright, Nordenbauer, Aftermath. Uh, let's... Some repairs here. And, uh, I, mean, I think I might have a better weapon. I should look into seeing what I can do about that. All right. Uh, sell a few things. Buy whatever potions and stuff that we can. See, some of these are weapons only, like a ranger. Might as well sell some of the ones that we can't really use. Choice of reward from Goran, so we have a reward there too. Buy all those, buy all that. Uh, let's see if we can get better armor. The pants, that we do. Two hundred twenty-two. Yeah, we'll get that one. that and we're gonna get some of this stuff fixed too we're gonna see if we can critical damage ice damage health regime problem is we can't use this on much a lot of them don't a lot of the items we have don't have slots Album recommendation from Droot. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what I have over here. Actually, I'm going to look at my, um... Let me look in my library on my computer here. Album covers that I have. Just give me a second here. Thank you for redeeming that.
All right, there we go. Dan Black, Do Not Revenge is the album I recommend to you, to everybody. I did a album review of this album like a long time ago on my channel, and it was awful, but um, somebody watched it and liked it. Uh, I love that album. I bought a physical copy of it when it came out. It's an album I keep going back to time and time again. It's like, I guess you could say pop music, but it's got like a, I don't even know, it's its own type of music, really. But it's just such a good record. It's like a perfect album. And uh, I really love the sound of it. It just resonates a lot with me. Um, it's just a wonderful piece of art, that, that album. Dan Black, Do Not Revenge. Do not miss out on that record. It's a good one. Whoops. It's nice that I can bring up album cover pictures right here on stream rather than holding up some CDs. It makes it you guys can see it better. Sometimes I have like a few CDs here. Thanks for the uh... And if you don't like um... If you're not as into pop music, I'd definitely check out um... Let me see. Metallica's Hardwired to Self-Destruct as well. This is not a good one or two. One of that Metallica's newer records. Maybe even their newest one. I don't know. Um, that's a good one. Metallica. Hardwired to Self-Destruct. It's a two-disc album. Say yes. <laughs> Those ones. Hey, what's up, Star June? Welcome back in. Hopefully you got some rest. We are coming close to the uh, to the conclusion of this game. I believe. Okay, I think we're ready to to push on here. GDP's here, everyone's saying hello, hello. Took a two hour nap. That's good. Glad you got some rest. It's very good to hear it. Your metal head through and through. Okay, good to know, Drew. Yeah, I got um I got some metal music in here, so yeah, I can bust out more metal albums at some point. Let's show you guys. I got a little bit of everything, I guess. <laughs> Look how beat down this place is now. All the dwarves are like hurting bad. Alright. Uh, oh, we still need to be in Nordenbad for something? There's something we have to do here. And then hydration as well. Let's have some Gatorade. Let's so welcome into the, anybody that's just joining too. We have to go see Bellaram first. I did not hit her. I did not. It's it's bullshit. I did not hit her. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, that movie. That that freaking movie. I'm lonely. I'm tired. I love you, darling. <laughs> or does he say I'm drunk? I'm tired or something. I don't know. I need to see if my brother has that on like freaking Amazon Prime. Or if he has that. So you can watch it. Anything for my princess! Yeah. <laughs> 
Drew, did you see the um the video somebody made on YouTube of putting Tommy Wiseau in the Star Wars saga? Like the Tommy Wiseau saga? It's so good. Oh my gosh, the way they edited it all in there is just perfect. You've done your part, sir. Yeah, no, you have to watch it. You have to see it. So they took a lot of stuff from the Maroon movie, edited it into Star Wars, and made like a whole saga. Just watch the whole... It's like a Tommy Wiseau set Star Wars saga. It'll probably come up. And it's like a... Maybe like a 20-minute video or something. <laughs> it breaks it all up. And it's so good. Oh my! They create like this whole story. Like, you'll be laughing, and then like you'll kind of get into it at some point, you know? And you'll be laughing, and then you'll forget that you, like, you're actually watching a joke thing. But it's edited really well. Like it's pretty clean, and uh, the way they they wrote it all in there is pretty good. It's so funny though. <laughs> You'll be well and they like tie in like all the Star Wars movies, like all in one. There's like there's like scenes from like every Star Wars movie, pretty much. I probably watched it more times than you would expect. Probably more times than I should have watched it, the Tommy Wiseau saga, but I can't stay away from it. Alright, Belrom will survive. We push on. To Karn Dune. There he is. Remember that being a really hard boss fight too. There was um speaking of Tommy Wiseau as well. I, I don't know why I know so much about Tommy Wiseau, but um, <laughs> there was a TV show he did. I think it was more of a web series where he actually played video games and like commentated. My brother had it on DVD too. It was him playing like Fallout and like random things, and he would be like. <laughs> but they like tried to make like a story behind it, like he was like on a spaceship and the aliens were like making him play games or something. I forget what it was called. Come on, you gotta get up there, man. Farron. Well, we won't be going back that way, I'm thinking. But you were correct, Aradan. There are no guards watching this route. Small wonder. We cannot count on him remaining unwatched for long. Come, let us find a way into this fortress. Let's do it. I don't know what it was called, honestly, but it was, um... Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> uh, that's a great thing, by the way. I love that. Um, it was kind of, it was, it, it kind of had those vibes, but it was just like, it was Tommy Wiseau in like a spaceship, and I'm pretty sure it was like aliens, like making him play games. He was like, okay, and it was just Tommy being Tommy, like playing games, not knowing what he was doing. It was like a half hour episode each or something, I don't remember. It's a long time ago I saw it, but yeah, my brother bought it on DVD because he wanted to see how bad it was. <laughs> and uh, I don't it could be on YouTube for all I know. I don't, Here we are in car and doing the blood tunnels.
They still do have quite a bit to go. This is a... A big area to go through, I think. Chop me. Bit mazy here. This isn't the way to go. Good health potions. There's the lever. I'm trying to shoot. <laughs> oh no problem, dude. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you dig it. Dude, there's like a lot of games I see you play. I'm like, damn. I wish I could play that one. But yeah, I'm glad you. Glad you're interested. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'm just surprised there's a game that I'm playing that you haven't tried yet. <laughs> That's what's cool about game uh, libraries for people. Everybody's got different stuff. And sometimes you can find some hidden gems from other people. I've certainly bought games before because I've seen other people stream them. And I'm like, wow, that looks good. Like the X-Files game on PS2, I saw Pete Doerr streaming that. And I was like, oh, I gotta get this game. It's like X Files. It's like a Sound Hill for X Files. Picked it up. Shoot. Dropping everything. The Tommy was show. That was it. That was it. How could I forget that name? Hidden gems on 3DS. Yeah. The hidden gems. I only have like a couple 3DS games because um, I really only use it when I'm like either working an overnight, I'll take it with me to work and play it on my break to help keep me going, but or if I'm like traveling, I take it with me. I don't play it a lot at home. If I'm like going somewhere, I'll take it with me. So I don't play a ton of handheld stuff. Even my Switch, I don't use handheld that often. Sometimes I'll play Smash Brothers, laying down, or watch videos on there, laying down. Get him. There we go. I do want to play Luigi's Mansion. On there though, the second one, New Moon or whatever it's called. I never played the first Luigi's Mansion either, but I love the third one so much that I like. <laughs> I'm gonna at least play one of the other ones. Get more coins. I mean, we're so rich right now in this game, so we buy whatever we want. All the armor we want. Through here. Don't get up. What the heck? How goes I can't hit him, but he can hit me? That's not fair. Look at this. Some kind of glitch there. 
Tommy was so ex machina. <laughs> oh. Imagine we should get I should get Tommy with so in a stream of mine. Say, hey Tommy, you should come play games with me one night. Everyone will love it. You think if I reached out for him, reached out to him, he would he would do that. Tommy and Zero. Was zero Tommy was zero, how about that? <laughs> He's so desperate to get back in the spotlight, is he really? He'll take anything. <laughs> be great. Man, come on, Tommy. Have like a Tommy was so night <laughs> once a week. <laughs> Where him and I just play whatever. Those would, be the, those would be the days. No, I honestly do want to get like in-person guests eventually. The COVID dose dies down more and I have a bigger space where I can set things up for... That's way, like, uh, that's always way down the line, but I would like to have some guests. Friends, whatever, you know, whatever. People who want to come over in person and play games that are like near my area. Do old, good old couch co-op, you know? Even play like one player games and stuff. I mean, I could even have a series going that they could help me get through, you know? I could both re be reading chat and hanging out with everybody. Tommy was, was, was show. So it's a YouTube channel? They have it on YouTube? I gotta watch some of that. Coming in. Leave him alone. Don't touch him, motherfucker. <laughs> So there's a freaking YouTube for that show. All right. We're saved. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. This controller. This is the best one I have, too, for the 360. The other ones will be popping out like, like nothing. I'm sure there's some wireless 360 controllers that aren't too bad. Actually, I wouldn't even mind having a wired 360 controller. I don't really care because I'm not trying to sit like 8,000 feet away half the time. Oh, wow. Look at this. No. Get up, get up, get up. Is he getting her up? Uh, hang on, hang on. There. Oh, the crap, they're both down. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. We're gonna die here. Oh, no. It's up to me, it's up to me. 
I can't even begin to get either of them up. I got oh, this stupid mage over here has to die too. Alright, good. He's dead. Alright, now I gotta get rid of sword guy. He's dead. Oh, there's another guy up there. Well, let me get out of his line of sight here. We'll give, I will give you all my bits if you do a solid stream impersonating Tommy was so. But like, I'm not even good at it though. <laughs> it's Tommy night and we're gonna pretend to be Tommy was so, guys. I mean, I can make like a channel point, like redeem, like be Tommy was so for like five minutes. <laughs> How annoying would that be to people though? Oh, come on. See, I can't get them up with this guy. We're doing it, though. We're doing it. He's still trying to fight them, even though they're down. Uh, yeah, headshots do do more damage. They're kind of tough to pull off. Yeah. See, you'll see when I'm doing more damage there. See, like, if I do in the body there, that's 331. I hit him in the head, it should be, like, around 370, probably. Watch, here we go. So, we got 447 there, the headshot. He's dead, actually. All right. Uh, we still can't get them up because they're too close to the troll. Troll's gonna follow us around, and they're gonna follow us around. I'm gonna fight this thing one on one. James Franco would do it in a heartbeat for free. <laughs> you know, the movie they made, right? There's another mage up there? Come on with these guys. There's two more up there. Oh wow, these guys are the worst. Why well, there's so many of them? There's no way. I can get either of them up right now. No, I haven't played any Star Dark Souls games, surprisingly. I would love to. I want to get the uh, the first one on 360. Because Elden Ring looks amazing. Like, I really want to play Elden Ring. I feel like I'd really like it. I know they're hard. But, um... I'd be wanting to at least try, you know? To get as far as I can. But if I beat this troll, it's gonna be good. Real epic here. I cannot get them up. Just don't have time. These guys are shooting me and then... Oh shoot, look at I... Got him. I'll get her up. We did it. 510 with that headshot. 
And then if you, you kill them with a headshot, you get like a special bullseye bonus or whatever. For XP, I think. Let's see if I can get it. Shoot. I think it only works on certain enemies, though. Run out of arrows. This guy's got like 10 arrows in his face. Like, there we go. Yeah, it's a headshot bonus. Plus 33 experience. I know the NPCs just crawl over to me like, help me. Like they expect me to do it. Like, um, can't you see I'm fighting something? I can't get them up when they're like that close to me with the troll. <laughs> they just like crawl on over, creep on over. Farming first. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just like it comes out barely any, like a little tiny bit. Enough to like think that the batteries are out. Maybe I could tape it up or something. My 360 controllers have wear and tear. I mean, I, 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 re I really think the 360 is the system I've played the most in my life. As far as like, gaming goes. Over all hours. You just do a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> Again, like why some of those guys like die, but then like they can still hit me. I don't know what's going on there. You thought it was a crawling enemy? <laughs> Just trying to creep up and get me, like, unsuspectingly? <laughs> oh no. We might see more crawling NPCs here because they're probably going to go down during this fight. So I got to stay up. Close to leveling up again, too. Let's get there. Thank you. It's not my house. I was preparing an egg breakfast. This is not my house. <laughs> it should have been Tommy Wiseau for Halloween. Why is he hit me? It's a me troll. <laughs> His like laugh that he does too. <laughs> like, every time I like I kill a troll, like. <laughs> oh hi troll.
need longer hair and wrinkles. I have wrinkles. I'm old. The hair though, yeah. I could just get like a wig. And I have to clean shave too. Anytime Andriel tells me to do something, anything for my princess. Oh. <laughs> Come on, get him. Come again. What kind of XP do I get for doing that? Let's see. Did I even get XP for killing him? Orc Liquor. We just picked up Orc Liquor. Wait a minute. Let's also see if we have, like... This music slaps, huh? We have... Oh, that weapon's good. It doesn't do the damage. Like, the extra damage. But overall, it's gonna do... More damage, I think. This one goes up to 318. Hmm. So what is orc liquor? I'm gonna drink it. What did it do for me? I don't know, I'm using it, but I don't know what it does. Maybe it makes me stronger for a little bit or something. There we go. I should laugh like that. The room part two in 2024. Is that what you're hoping for? Is that what you want more than anything in this world? Alright, we finally beat that part. Now we gotta figure out my way through here. Rumor mill? Is that really a rumor? There's, I mean... Do they really want to, like, ruin the magic of the first movie by making a sequel? How would just more Tommy Wiseau films, in general? Oh my gosh, these sword! Finally, my team, like, decides to come join me here. Come on, guys. A reboot? <laughs> I mean, like, what? Like, what is the story gonna be? Like, that's good. Have all of that. Oof. Oh, 
Come on, I want to level up. Oh, where are these guys? They're all just dropping in here. Get inside the circle. It's gone. Oh, there's too many range attackers over. Oh, I got him. Because he does anything for his princess, yes. Tommy's going to wake up from a coma after his attempted suicide and chase after Mark and his. Fiance, but Mark's not even going to be in it, is he? There's no way he's going to get that guy to be in the movie. Thanks for the uh, hydration, too. Like, none of the actors are going to return besides Tommy. There's just... Coming, I'm coming. Oh my gosh, with these guys. So there's no way like they would come back. Unless they like really are friends, but I thought that they were like, like. I thought they had like a weird relationship or something. Yeah, that's right. Take him away. Let's go looting here. A 20th anniversary edition, like 4K Ultra <laughs> DVD, Blu-ray. We'll get it on Blu-ray. Imagine if they did. I mean, it has such a cult following. I mean, I've seen other bad movies too. I mean. Freaking, what is it? Mm. It's like, I can't think of the name of it. Birdemic. You seen Birdemic? Oh my gosh. There's an epic fight now. Look who's here, Bellaram. Oof. That's pretty badass. He just takes out a dragon. Special features and commentary by Tom himself. James Franco and Seth Rogen. <laughs> there you go. You got it all made up already. You can sell it right now. Look at all the blood over him. He's like, I'm fine. He's got blood everywhere. Look 
persuading. All right, let's continue. Belaram just like chilling. <laughs> uh, going here. It's the end of that sub chapter. Let's see if we can finish tonight. Hopefully not too late, so I get some sleep. Uh, tomorrow, don't know what we'll stream. I don't know if it'll be another Ocarina Time night. Maybe we'll really dive into Mario Odyssey some more, or maybe we'll just start something else. I don't know. Not sure yet. Especially if we finish this game tonight. I mean, I do want to start a couple more games maybe this month before we head into a new year. I think we'll probably still be playing Mario Odyssey come January. <laughs> there he is. Water Temple? I know. <laughs> the hype is building. It'll be one of the next couple nights we'll do that. Make sure I got enough Gatorade and tea. We'll make it. We'll have some fun. Alright, this is a this is a really hard fight. Boogie likes it. The water temple hype. GDP likes it. I can dial it. Keep doing our power moves. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, heavy impact on him. She's doing pretty good so far. I think I have better power than I ever had here, that's why. We're like gaining XP here somehow. I think from doing like combos. Oh, yeah, that's right. He brings down trolls, too. Should level up soon. All right, don't go down. Go, don't go down. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty. I don't think we can level up during this fight, actually. Not be allowed to. There we go. <laughs> the troll slayer. I like that. Those emotes there. Right, we have leveled up now. Right, let's just bring up for a will. Let's just be bring up stamina twice too. Then we'll do. What else do we have? War cry damage. I will take that as well. Let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. <laughs> We're getting them. Uh, uh, Jesse has redeemed Hydrate. Oh, She's always watching, even when I don't even realize it. Thank you, baby. Okay, Gatorade.
Back to fighting Agendower. I mean, we could farm, like, some of these enemies, too, and get more XP, but I don't think we'll level up again. This is... That was our last level up. Shoot! Oh, no, that's not good. He got me down quickly. Aragon, come on. Oh, it's the sword guys. They'll never get me up. We're dead. We're dead. Because she's down, too. With the sword guys, it's really hard to do anything. I'm crawling away, so... If he gets her up, we'll be... surprised. No. He's dead. Wait, they're up! That guy bled to death here. Why? Lurking is okay? Yeah. What's wrong with lurking? I lurk... I lurked in... I lurk in most streams I go in. I've worked in GDP streams before. Before we even really started talking much. <laughs> I was in there. He didn't even know I was there. Alright, so we gotta go again here. Some people like to lurk. I mean, people lurk in my streams probably too. I, that's fine. Like, <laughs> as long as they're enjoying, that's all I care about. Oh, we got good damage there. I did die quick. I know. It's like the sword guys are. It's like their paint. They use it as like paint brushes. They just swipe at you like so quickly, and they get your whole team down faster than anything else. Yeah, the NPCs don't do a ton of damage. They really don't. I mean, I can equip them with better weapons, I think. I don't know if I have anything to give them, though. So you can give them, like, stuff. they will give that to Andrial, but you can see it's, like, worse than what they have, I think. They do a little bit, but you gotta do most of it yourself. What do you expect? It's an epic fight for the final here. This is what we want. We're going to do our level up again, too, after we kill him. You gotta mix up like the regular attacks and the heavy attacks, you get some really good combos going. You just gotta make sure you dodge their attacks. Especially after you do a critical strike, they're open to laying in on them for a couple of more hits. Like this. There we go. She does that to heal. We do our leveling up again. So we'll do. You know, I'm just gonna do two, this time two strength, one stamina. I'm gonna do that again too. Our will's decent. We gotta get, get more strength. We can just fight these guys off. There's Agandar. Sword guys, gotta get rid of them. There we 
we go. Get her up. Just in time. Where is he? Where is he? He's above me. Oh, shoot. Come on, Agendauer. Lock him at all. Shoot, I missed him with that. Do this. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Find the sword, guys. There's the creeping. Look at it. It's creeping over. Get out of here. Alright, alright, alright. We almost got him. Shoot. Going in hot. They're down. He's dead. He's dead. No, no, no. Got it. Okay. It's through here. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oof. There's more to the battle. These are the most holiday-ish lights that I have too, these ones too. I need to get like... I might just go to the dollar store and see what they have for like Christmas decorations to put up here. I don't normally decorate too much for Christmas for myself, but... When I was a kid, my family used to go crazy with it. We went decorate all over. I love like a big Christmas lights display though. Alright, here we go. More more to be done. Oh, get up, get up. There we go. I staggered. Chance to get a critical strike. Get away! Where is he? Where is he? This is tough because my dexterity is not too great. And I can run out of arrows. Which means I'll have no way of attacking him when he's up there. It'll be all them. Maybe some more power moves. Got him. Get away. Oh, shoot. Didn't get far enough away from him. Death 
Belaram is gravely wounded, but he will aid you if you choose. So we can pick, I think. I don't know if we pick him, if like he dies or something. I think we're good for now though. Hang tight, Belaram. If we get desperate, we'll use him. But I've got plenty of healing potions left. I'm working down his health. I think we got him. I think we got him. This is epic. I mean, this is this is how you do a freaking boss fight like this. Got all these arrows in him. Get him. Stagger it. And get him. More health potions. We're good. Oh, the hammer blast to, uh, Finish him off. Really cool cinematics here. Yeah, it's it's really dope the uh, the cutscenes here. And then there's a uh, dragon friend. Or is he a friend? It's cool because this obviously this coincides with the movies, so Frodo's journey is is uh, is done at this point. Yeah, final boss. Yeah, yeah Jesse, it's the end. Of an amazing game. <laughs> <laughs> Urgos. It is a long way home from here for each of us. Let us make for a Maldris. You will find no better place to rest and recover. You have but to say the word, and we will press on. What say you, Father? Should we go to Rivendell? A little rest sounds good. Hmm. Yeah, it ties into the movies. It's great. It's just so good. Um, you know, this is all like going on during like Frodo's quest as like a kind of a side thing. I love, I love how they wrote that.
Like we're kind of creating diversions to get some of the uh, attention away from Frodo and his crew. But that is Lord of the Rings War in the North, guys. What a great, great, great game. I'm glad uh, GDP picked this up. Yeah, if you guys haven't played it, definitely give it a try. It's so fun. I mean, I wish they had made more games like this. But uh, it stands as its own game, and it's uh, just it's just a classic for me. Like I'm gonna be still loving this game ten years from now. Gameplay is so solid in this. Like the combat is so smooth. There's little side quests, you know, there's towns and, and just the, the levels, are, the areas are really cool. There's not really anything bad that you can say about this game. And again, it's couch co-op if you want to do two players through the whole story like that. You can do two players in one system, go through the uh, campaign. So this opens up another slot for more games, of course, but we still have a lot of work to do in a few other games that we're playing. Um, I don't really, I never know what's going to be next because I have, you know, some options and it's kind of a spur of the moment a lot of the time. Like, oh, I feel like playing this game or I want to try this game for the first time. Um... I mean, I could go back to something on Dreamcast. I still have Dreamcast games I haven't played. Still more 360 stuff we could do. I don't know. We'll eventually do more Xbox One and, and stuff like that. But, uh, we There is a Wii game I wanted to try and get this month to play because it's a Christmassy game. That could be kind of fun to play for a night. Um, I'll have to remember to order a copy of that because it's a really cheap game. Seaman? <laughs> Drew wants me to play Seaman on Dreamcast. Yeah, if I had it. But again, I don't know how that would be streaming. Like, that would be like. <laughs> We'd have to play other games during the stream too. Just like check in on the Seaman every now and then. <laughs> See that they're still alive. Man. And it has like a whole cinematic ending here too, and like almost like movie credits, you know. As any good game should. <laughs> the uh the seamen. Seamen. Whatever you want to call them. But I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty pricey game. And everything. But man, do I love the Dreamcast still. I want to play, uh... Yep, Leonard Nimoy does the, uh, does the voice in that game. let this play out but do want to thank everybody who's watched this series on Twitch or YouTube thank you so much I uh, hope you enjoyed the game hope you enjoyed seeing what it has to offer I appreciate all the support and uh, as always we, we go to more games share more games with you guys and we'll experience lots more games for the first time together This is one I've been wanting to play for a while, and I was like, th th that was the time. I was feeling it, and I'm glad. Because it was a... Uh, it's just 
such a epic game to play. So there's the voice talent, Laura Bailey. Look at that. Jennifer Hale, she does a lot of the uh, woman's voice acting too. Nolan North. <laughs> I'm surprised none of the. Uh, actors were in there because like Frodo's voice was pretty close thank you for the uh, the bits Drew thank you very much my friend it's very much appreciated I am Drew with the little corgi or fox whatever it is I think it, I used to call it a fox I think it's a corgi isn't it Frodo yeah Frodo was in the game Frodo Legolas Liv Tyler, whatever her character name was. Um, Aragorn. A lot of them are all in the game. I know I'm leaving Gandalf's in it. They make appearances. You can interact with them in Rivendell at one point before they continue their journey. You like get to meet them and talk to them and ask them questions. I am Droot. <laughs> Yeah, they're talked about, and they're also in the game. I don't remember what part it was. Maybe part two of the series, I think, is when I, when you see them. Interact with a lot of them. No, it doesn't happen in the movie. Now, these characters are only for the game. Just for this game. But the way they wrote it, it's really cool, you know? You think, like, these could be, like, real characters, and... What is all this? The legal stuff for the game? <laughs> Copyright and stuff like that? There were other dwarves. Yeah, there were other dwarves, I mean. And stuff in Rivendell. You know. So, I mean, it's considered pretty much one of them. More in the north. Difficulty level increased. So, that's what happens. And you can replay the story if you want to do like a new game plus, which I've also done before, but I'm not going to do it on stream. We're just, it's just, it's an option if you want to play through the game again and get your guy. My original character is like full level. And uh, the difficulty of the game does go up. All right, I guess that will probably do it for tonight. Um, Gosh, if I didn't have to work so early tomorrow, I would probably play something else for a while. But I know if I get started another game right now, I'll end up being up to like 1 a.m. Um, but this this was great. I mean, I'm glad we got through the game. It's sad because I'm going to miss, like I said, vibing with this game again. But it's a, it's a classic for me on the 360. Um... So tomorrow, guys, we will probably stream something. No idea what yet. Um, <laughs> I'll pick something, and we'll. we'll can, yeah. I don't think we'll do Ocarina of Time tomorrow again, but you know, it, it, I say it all depends on how I'm feeling for the day. What what I feel like playing. The Water Temple hype is real. It's building. It's building for sure. And uh, I'm looking for more Mario level hype too. The uh, Mario Odyssey. I'm having fun with those. Like I could almost play that right now, and I'm very tempted to, but I, I should just hold off on that and just <laughs> wait to go back to it another night. It's always sad when you beat a good game. It is, Star June. It is. It's very sad. All right, I'm going to stop the recording right now. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this on YouTube. <laughs>